it's a Bigfoot 2021 25RQ. We ordered it straight from the factory. Grant, who's the president of the company, was wonderful in just texting me, emailing me, and letting me change things up with it. So there's not another one that's got the same configuration. And we live in it full time. This is our ninth year of full time living. Come on in. The microwave, love it. Then a hood. We have an oven, love our oven. Some people don't. And then of course the three burner. And it just lifts up, and comes down. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very nice. And yeah. so that gives you a little bit of extra prep, sir? Yeah, if yeah. I need it, I can so prep on that. Oh, nice we have you. used this quite a bit, and I didn't think we would, but we really have. We can even slip by it if we're careful. I didn't think I'd like this sink. I think in the past they've come with a double sink. But he said this is their standard, and I said that's fine because I didn't, wasn't really sure. I bought this without ever walking into one, so I wasn't sure what the dimensions were on anything. But I've come to love this round sink and of course it's got this little and the refrigerator seems to be a little larger than even our, our thirty foot fifth uh, wheel has. I think it's an eight foot. cubic feet. I think it is. Normally it comes with a mirror here. I didn't let them put the mirror in. Uh, normally this door is oriented where it opens this way. I wanted it to open this way because it gives me a little bit of a dressing area back here while he's working. And if you want to come this way, it's got a three-piece bath, and that's one of the things that Rick really wanted, and I love too. So we've got plenty of room to take our showers where we want. Normally that has a large skylight in the shower. I opted what? out of the skylight. No skylight. No okay. skylight in the shower, but normally it comes with a skylight in the shower. And of course your closet, your drawers. Uh, come on in here. Let me slip around. This is the rear queen. So this is an RV queen. And it's got drawers under here that you can pull out. Can you see down there? Mm -hmm. There's a drawer you could pull out there mm -hmm. if you chose to. This whole thing also lifts up, but Rick needs to lift it because I put a Tempur-Pedic mattress in here and it's a little heavy. So I make him lift it. And you have storage under there. I do. So we have three fantastic fans since I opted okay. out of the uh, skylight and got a fantastic fan. So we have one here, one in the bathroom, and of course one in the living room now. That rug that goes around the, the bed is mm -hmm. a rug. And you can take that rug out if you choose to. Did they make that for you? They yeah. do. That's yeah. how every one of them come that way. Oh, that's really nice. When you get out in the in the morning and your feet aren't cold. Right. Exactly. And it's, it's removable on every big foot. They make it that way. Yeah. We have a TV option here, but we don't use it for a TV. We haven't got around to putting a TV in there. Okay. Does Not it, sure we will. Do they, sell, do they sell it with a TV normally? You know, I don't know because it I wasn't... I don't think they sell it with the TV. I think they only sell it with the... Um, the mounts. The mounts did there. come with it. Yeah. I don't think the TVs did, right. did they? No. Nope. Right. But you will get a TV. You think? We're not sure. Yeah. We haven't really been missing it. And we've been sitting in there in the living room. I call it the living room. <laughs> we've been sitting there using I mean, it. Six steps from yep. one to the other. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then one other thing that she didn't show you is that uh, this this comes with a little door. Yeah, that's an option. Yeah, I do love. What was the if, if you didn't get that, then what would you have got? A curtain. I think oh, it's a curtain. Yeah. Okay, that's And I do nicer. like that. That's yeah. that's. Uh, I, I wasn't sure that we would like it, but it's well worth getting that. If you Grant, get the owner, talked me into it, and he was right. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I got that. But they'll work with you, and that's what's so impressive with Bigfoot is they'll they'll adapt this to whatever you want. And he's very open to any idea you come up with. At one point, I was speaking to Grant about making this a doorway for a second entrance door. And he was okay with it. He was on board with it. So, you know, I like a company that's willing to do that. Okay, you'll have to show her the shelf now, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> and she can decide whether or not she wants in it. Yeah, that's right. But okay, so I we'll need more storage there, room. Oh. More so it just lifts, lifts up, up and gives me room for my summer things under okay. there. Nice. So it's a, it's a pretty good sized closet, so. Yeah. Yeah, and the drawers pull out really well all the way. All the drawers are completely extendable you know and then over here he has a door just a little cabinet 
and a cabinet here. I think there's even an outlet down there at the bottom, isn't there's there? An outlet. We had them add uh, 12 volt uh, on the side here. Yeah, uh, and we have a 12 volt and a USB port on both sides, yeah. but we haven't used those yet. So it also comes with an outlet on that side behind my robe there. Now, since we didn't put in the dinette, we opted to put in recliners. So we picked this up at the border in Washington on September 17th. The company brings it over the border. We drove straight to Nebraska Furniture Mart over in Nebraska oh, and Nebraska. Omaha and picked these up. We already had that smaller table from another RV we had had. That's an Amish, you know, up in Indiana. They make mm -hmm. the great Amish furniture. This is supposed to be part of the dinette, but we had them leave everything off because we just got the solar and let Solar Bill decide where to put the inverter. They put it here, so when we get home, back to Texas where we have a barn, we'll build out this with some cabinets. Down here is our inverters, our converters. It also has our heater. It has the water pump. It has the hot water heater. His Wi-Fi is down there. This is where they installed all of our solar digital readouts. And over there next it to Rick. Com it comes normally with a battery readout anyway on it, so you don't have to have the uh, cigarette lighter thing. It, does it comes with the uh, generator prep, so start and stop if you do get a generator on there. Good normally thing. it comes with a skylight here. Mm -hmm. A large rectangle. We weren't going to have the skylight there, but while they were building it, they asked, well, would we want a third Fantastic fan? And we opted for that, so they put that in, and then we put the light bar around it that's a simple ad from Amazon or somewhere. Exactly. You get a choice on your fabric on this fabric here. It can be identical to the one in the back that you see or you can get this pattern. Out here you can feel them. See how the double paint? Mm -hmm. And it's got the uh, reflection on the outside. Oh. Okay. Like a copper reflection. And that is really, I can really tell a difference from my other RVs. You on mean that. as far as keeping the heat out? Right. Oh. Keeps the heat out and keeps that cold out. Normally there's a dinette behind this wall and there's a storage bin here. We opted out of that. You, this is an option that you can get. We got that. That holds our, now it holds our solar batteries, four of them, plus the propane tanks. Yeah. And then there's a generator holder underneath that we did not get the generator for, but it's set up for it. Did you get the lithium batteries? No. 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 Just AGM. Okay. To start with, we just got AGM. Down the line, we might go ahead and get the, the lithium. Now, this got moved. It's normally on the far side, closer to the dump. But I wanted it over here because we like to do an outside kitchen every once in a while. This is a rear queen bed. There was also a large opening here that we opted out of that would have gone halfway under the queen bed. And we decided, no, we'll take all that storage under the queen bed and leave that there. Oh, and I didn't get any graphics on it. He did go ahead and put the Bigfoot symbol, but I took the Bigfoot name off here and there, and I just got tired of peeling it, so I left a couple of the Bigfoots on there. So he's running around the trailer now. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the outside. Normally, it comes with a luggage rack at the top of that ladder, but I didn't want the luggage rack up there, just the ladder, so they they work with you on everything. They were put on uh, a couple of weeks ago, so it's on two 230 watt solar panels. Who put those on for you? Solar Bills. Oh, okay. And I would highly recommend them. And he was going to show you the battery bank at the front oh, that good. Solar okay. Bill put in. Okay. This is where the propane tanks are. The batteries that come with it are usually up underneath in the back. There's a space back there. I had them uh, move them up here. So we've got four batteries, 400 watt batteries. Uh, we've moved the two from the bottom up to here. And uh, when they put the solar in, I still haven't put the top on the box, so. We built the box just to kind of protect those batteries from the things we're gonna pack in there on the way. And she had a uh, suitcase solar, so I put in the connection for that. Oh, uh -huh. The two panels up on top of there. Too. So that suitcase helps you, helps you out a lot. Oh, yeah, a little bit, you know, it's just, it's just a little extra there, uh -huh. you know. And then window uh, shade comes up like that. So. And does it close when it's too windy? It's no, not it's, not, no. it's, it's not a, a wind sensor on it. Very nice. Just about 
the entire length of it, which we love. Yeah, that's a lot of space. I mean, you could have a lot of friends over. And <laughs> it's the little remote control for the lights. Oh, <laughs> right now she's got it set on uh, psychedelic. I think I could probably send someone into an epileptic fit yeah. on one of the modes. Yeah, it goes so fast. Too. Well, yeah, I can't show you how it's a propane tank, but oh. at the bottom of the a tank, there's a sensor uh, that senses up through the tank as to how much density of the propane there is in the in the tank. Uh, right now, one tank I've got is empty. It'll just go through and it'll it sit, sends a signal out, comes back with a reading. When it's empty, it will flash the red light intermittently, letting you know it is empty. 